Hello Real Life Change Agents, this is Leif Hansen from Spark Interaction and we are now on the fifth suggestion for the week and I uh, hope that the other ones have been helpful for you, that you've been finding yourself vitalized and getting curious about how you can bring more play and magic into your life. So if you remember, or if you've already read it, today's suggestion is about facing, rather hunting your fears. Usually we think of fears as something that you run away from, that you hide from, and a lot of us just sort of ignore or deny or bury our fears. Maybe once in a while you'll get some advice from somebody, you know, it's time to face your fear. But what if you actually took a more active stance in hunting your fears? What would that, what would that actually look like? So first of all, it's important to say that fears are never gonna go away. No matter how courageous you are, no matter how on top of things you are, you're gonna to wanna to stretch yourself and fears are just part, they're, they're actually a friend. They can help you be you know, cautious, they can help you look for real dangers. And the problem is, the way our brain evolved is in this day and age, a lot of the fears, a lot of the dangers that were originally there are really just no longer there. You know, that tiger, that thunder that's gonna, uh, the lightning that's gonna come down from the sky, and all the things that this base part of your brain evolved to help protect you from really just aren't around. But there are still some fears, so it's important to maintain a good friendship with it, to not think of it as a bad thing. Matter of fact, you can't really have courage unless you have fear because courage is about showing up and dealing with your fears. So what would it look like to actually hunt your fears? Not just face your fears, but to hunt them down. Well, the first step has to do with getting clear about what your fear is. Obviously, there's gonna be more than one fear, but I would recommend that you just brainstorm, just like we've been doing with the other activities, that you would just write a list of all the fears that come to mind. They might be existential fears, they might be everyday practical fears, but the fact is that we all have them. It could be things about what happens after life, after death, what happens after life, what happens after life too. It could be about your income for the next month or two or year. They could be about your children. They could be about your own state of health. Whatever they are, just let yourself be really, really honest. Face that first fear of being honest with yourself, of just writing all those fears down. The next step is to look at the fears that are really the ones that you notice are dominating your life, the ones that are present all the times and that are just kind of affecting you in a way that you don't wanna be dominated anymore. Circle those ones, highlight those ones, and decide maybe one or two or three that you wanna look at first. Now it comes time to decide whether you wanna um, get together a hunting party or you feel like this is something that you just need to or want to face on your own. Rarely, I think, is that the case. I think we're social creatures, and why not get support, whether it's from friends or family or professionals, a coach, a counselor, tools, anything that you can do, your weapons, your armor, your ways of thinking, but all the things that you're gonna need to actually face that fear. And then when it comes down to that time where you're hunting and you're getting to the battle scene, you might actually find out that beneath that monster is just some other fear that wants a hug, that wants sometimes the ice of fear just needs to melt and will help you to have some compassion for a part of yourself. Sometimes it's something that really does need to have a boundary set. There's like a, a battle that takes place. But a lot of the times fears go away when you bring compassion and acceptance and care. All right, so again, feel free to uh, contact me on the site if you want some support around this or you want to take the mission magic and money survey there's going to be a prize given away next week and any other questions that you want to follow up with i look forward to talking to you you can of course uh, leave comments on the actual site for real life change all right again this is leaf hansen take care guys bye